Now to the Plattsmith man being charged with a hate crime. Investigators believe Noah Miller spray painted swastikas on a Lincoln temple. Tonight, people who go there say they're traumatized. KETV Newswatch 7's Andrew Ozaki has our big story. Sir, you're charged with criminal mischief of $5,000 or more. This also looks to be a hate crime. Noah Miller occasionally shakes his head as prosecutors say the vandalism of a Jewish temple was motivated by hate. Police say security cameras at the South Street Temple caught Miller in action January 13th. At one point, he appears to even take a selfie on his phone. Police say tips, an extensive investigation, and several search warrants led them to arrest Miller Friday. So we're, we're really grateful for that. It's sad that something like this would happen. It's sad that somebody would come all the way from Plattsmouth to deface a temple in Lincoln. Peter Mullen is the temple's office administrator. He says response from the congregation and community has helped fade away the disturbing crime. One act of vandalism by a misguided person resulted in thousands of responses of kindness, love, compassion. Donations poured in, not only enough to fix the doors, but to upgrade their security system. A local printing company made hundreds of these signs to show their resolve. We're stronger than hate, that's what the signs say. Miller will need $5,000 to be released from jail. Prosecutors asked for a high bond because of Miller's past criminal record. It's two fires to appear, he has eight criminal convictions. Mullen says his faith does not believe in confronting hate with more hate. Um, and obviously somebody like this is in need of some kind of help. In Lincoln, Andrew Ozaki, KETV, News Watch 7. Miller's next court appearance is March 24th. If convicted, he could face up to three years in prison and a $10,000 fine.